What's up everybody, Sensei Vegan here. I'm not in my kitchen, but I've been getting questions. People ask me, what else do I like to do? You guys have seen videos of me driving around in my whip, but I am a huge, huge gamer. I'm talking a huge gamer. I love gaming. Um, I, you know, I've been gaming on Xbox uh, for about the last, what, 11, 12 years or so since it's pretty much been up. And um, I'm just like really disappointed where gaming is going. I'm going to tell you why. I love shooters. And I'm a huge Call of Duty fan. But um, I don't think I'm going to buy the new Infinite Warfare. And this is why. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys something. I'm not a fanboy. I buy all my games. I don't, you know, I'm not sponsored by Treyarch or Infinity Ward. And I don't have any remorse toward anyone that's sponsored by these guys or getting kickbacks or anything like that. If that's what you do, that's what you do. That's more power to you. But I'm going to say this. There is nobody out there that can tell me anything about Call of Duty. Because here's my stack. I own every Call of Duty game and I bought all my games. Okay? I've been gaming for a very long time. And... I'm not going to get into everything, but I was a huge, I was playing Call of Duty Ghost, okay? And I like Kill Confirmed, and I'm just going to start right here. I was playing Kill Confirmed. I got to the rank of 88th in the world, all right? And then I just stopped playing. I just stopped playing. And the thing is, I'm, I'm a good player. I'm a really good player. Um, a lot of the guys on my friends list, they were ranked, some of them were ranked um, number one. I had a couple guys that were ranked number two. I actually had a few friends that were ranked within the top 20. So I've played guys in the top 20 in the world, and I've beat them. I played guys in the top 10 and kill confirmed, and I beat them. So I can play the game. But I got to the rank of 88th, and I just quit. Number one, this goes out to the makers of the game. This one goes out to Infinity Ward first. You crapped on the veteran gamers. That's exactly what you did, because you start making a game that was coded to play against the players. The gang was coded to play against the players. An issue, spawning. Now when you're playing Kill Confirmed, now I know this has happened to people, and some people didn't understand what was going on, but again, I've played, here it is, all the Call of Duties. You would kill the person. You would go to pick up the tag. The tag would be right in front of you. I'm not even talking four or five steps away. The same person you just shot would spawn and shoot you in the back. How, how does that happen? Because it was coded to play against you, okay? You would get a kill streak. You would be on the far side of the map, dead end of the map, no one around you. Soon as you drop the kill streak, here comes somebody spawning to shoot you to take your package. You understand? The game was coded so that you can get rookie players come in and play the game and they can compete with the veteran players. It's all about money making. That's what it was about. And that's not even getting to all the cheating and all the other stuff that was going on in the game. Now, I'm not going to get into that. That will be another video. My problem is with how the games are coded. Okay? Now, we jump into present day. The catastrophe, the monstrosity of a game called Black Ops 3. All right? Black Ops 3, to me, has to be the worst shooter ever made. Again, you get these other big YouTuber guys. I'm sorry. You guys do not give that game. I mean, it needs to be torn apart because the game is coded like crap. I understand that some of you guys are sponsored by these companies. You get free games and free COD points and all that other stuff, but you have to be honest. Does the game look good? Yes, it does. But the game is coded like garbage. It's coded like garbage. Number one, spawning issues. How can you have the third installment of the game and you just spawn? I'm not even talking about getting spawn killed. You shoot somebody and you get spawned in front of the same person time and time again. You get killed by the same person five, six times in a row. You spawn. You don't even have time to react. That's how fast you get shot. Okay? Kill streaks. Again, you go to drop your kill streaks. There's no one around. All of a sudden, someone spawns as you go to put it up. It makes no sense. Um, oh, here's, here's my biggest gripe. This is my biggest gripe. The black market. What is going on with this Las Vegas-style black 
market, okay? Back in the day, we used to fuss because we had to buy the season pass, but we got used to buying a season pass, and you would buy the season pass, and you would get everything with the game, all the weapons and all the maps, right? Now, you buy the season pass, you still got to buy all the weapons, all the camos, and all the other bull crap that goes into the game. Then they found out, oh, let's put this Las Vegas slot machine system in a game where you have to win the weapons and the camos and the taunts and all that other bull crap that should be included in a game when you buy what? The season pass. But it's not. It's a way for them to make money. You know? And you, you, you buy these points, and you could buy three, four hundred dollars worth of points and still not get the weapons. What kind of crap is that? They do it to make money. Stop ripping off the gamers, man. Then they give you maps, making you pay for maps that you played on the old Call of Duties. If you guys are going to put an old map, if you're going to recycle it around, then give it to the players for free. Stop making people pay for crap that they already paid for. It's ridiculous. This is why I refuse to buy the new Call of Duty because I know it's going to be coded like garbage so your average player can just pick it up and compete with the veteran players instead of like, you know, when we were gaming, if you sucked at a game, you played the game until you got good. That's how we rolled. You played the game until you got good. But let me get back to this darn card point system. You need to take it out because basically it's gambling. That's all it is. It's gambling. Then you had these bigger YouTubers that were getting free card points and acting like basically they didn't get them from anywhere. They were sponsored. I knew where the card points came from as soon as I watched some of these videos. I'm like, quit ripping off the gamers and putting out false information. Again, if you're sponsored, that's fine, but tell people how you're getting these points. You understand? You got the younger gamers, they look up to you guys, and they want to follow in your footsteps, and then you're not being completely honest. That's just ridiculous. They need to take that crap out of the game. I mean, I, I had to stop playing Call of Duty 3 because it was just, again, the coding, the illegal gambling thing that's gone on in there. Again, they call it the, the black market, which is garbage, man. It's garbage. You should not have to spend points of, or, or put it this way. You shouldn't have to spend your own money in order to get weapons in the game. If you buy the season pass, everything should be included. It should be included. And I, you know what? I'm like, again, look, I own every Call of Duty and I was a darn good player. I'm going to read them off to you. Call of Duty, and the original one, and this is how far my gaming stuff goes back with Call of Duty. I rented the original one from Blockbuster. They don't even have Blockbusters around here anymore. Blockbuster went out of business. I beat the game, and then I went on Call of Duty 2, 3, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghost, World at War, which I think was probably the best one, and a Black Ops 2, excuse me, Black Ops Black Ops 2, and I downloaded Black Ops 3, the biggest waste of money. The game is garbage. The game is garbage. And this, that's just talking about the coding. I'm not even getting into all the cheating that goes on to the game. The cheating is horrendous. But what I'm saying, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer, Activision, stop ripping off the gamers, man. If you get the season pass, then you should get everything that's included. That means the maps, the camos, the guns, weapons, the taunts, all that stuff. You shouldn't have to use your own effing money to get points. All right? Stop the illegal gambling crap. That's all it is, man. Nothing but a big fraud of a slot machine. All right? So again, I'm Sensei Vegan. Thank you for joining me. Hello. Good night. And I don't care. Trolls. Bring it on. Other, bring, bring the crap on because I know I'm going to get some stuff in the comments. But you know I'm telling the truth. You guys been making these games for years, man. Learn how to code a game and let the players control the pace of the game. Stop putting that bogus code in there where the computer is playing against you to keep the game close. Okay? All right. Again, please leave your comments in the, in the comments section. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Again, this video is not edited. I ran straight through. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I know this is completely off the cuff, but I am a serious gamer. It is in my blood. 
So I had to get this out. Thank you for joining me. Hello. Good night. <laughs>